Hey guys, Johnny here today. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to make a flight plan using SimBrief. Um, this is basically what I use to make my flight plans when I fly on BatSim or when I fly in my simulator. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. Um, on SimBrief you're going to have to make an account. So if you're not a member, just go to the register um, page and just register and fill out all this information and do all that it's not that confusing after that what you're gonna do is just go and click login or just log into your account so for the airline um, you put in the three digit ICAO code um, in my case I flew United so um, Uniform Alpha Lima is the ICAO code um, flight number you could get from this website called flight aware um, basically all you all you need to do to get the flight number is just put in so KLAX to KSFO and then basically just click enter and click any of these flights. Uh, I'm just going to click Southwest 1148. So in this case, uh, SWA 1148 would be your number um, for SWA and then 1148. But for my, in my case, I'm United 1591, so 1591. Departing from Kilo Lima Alpha X-Ray to Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Oscar. So I'm going Los Angeles to San Francisco. It automatically puts in the alternate airport um, and the date and the departure time. Um, so that doesn't really matter. Don't really worry about that. Air, uh, aircraft. Um, in this flight, I flew the 737-800. So just put that in. Um, put in whatever flight or whatever plane you're going to be flying. Um, everything should be automatically calculated. If your plane isn't there, then go to aircraft editor. And basically, you can click new airframe and click click what type of plane it is. Um, and basically, just edit it or whatever. Um, other than that, it um, automatically does all of this, so you don't need any of this. Um, and it automatically chooses your route. And this will be a correct route. So basically, just click analyze route, and it's just making sure it's correct. Um, and then it will show a on the map what your route's going to look like. Um, there's sometimes a couple different routes over here that you or routes or whatever um, over here, and um, basically just choose whatever route you want to do. You could also get a real world route from over here. So summer one, Stoke Surfer, and the Surfer two arrival. Um, so we're t just the only difference here is the WAVs one. Um, if you want to change it, basically just delete something or add it in, and go like that, and then just click Analyze Route, and there you go. Um, and then um, that's all you need to do to make the route. Um, the only difference is on this side for the first time you need to um, basically change it. So official flight plan layout. Um, I like doing Southwest just because it's the easiest one for me to read and I've just gotten used to that one. Units I put them in pounds. Um, this both put those both of these on auto um, and then make sure detail nav log is checked. Nav log is checked. Etops planning is checked. Plan step climbs is checked. Um, this is unchecked. Nodams and fur nodams are checked. Um, in flight maps, doesn't really matter because we don't. I don't even look at those. Um, and then ARAC, um, you can update that, but um, I update it using um, Navigraph. So just come to this page if you have a Navigraph account and do that. Um, so other than that, um, everything looks good. So what you want to do is come up here and click Generate OFP. And then click yes and it's going to take a minute here to um, load everything and make the make the flight plan okay so um, next you're gonna be taken to this page and what's on this page is a summary of your flight plans um, if you want to see your a map of your route oopsies I messed up what did I do? I don't even know what I did. Well, don't do what I did, but just click on that and it shows up. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, just check root and yeah, there it is. And if you want to check other things, then you can. Um, yeah. So other than that, down here is basically your flight plan, but there's another way that I look at it. I don't look at this. Um, down here is if you want to download basically your route um, so you don't have to type it all in and you could just do that. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that on this route, but um, in this case, uh, I flew the PMDG 737, so I download the this one um, and then I go into my files and put it into my files. 
Um, anything else, explain whatever you want to put in. Um, and then if you want to pre-file on a network, so Pilot Edge or VATSIM, just click pre-file and then it puts it in there. Or if you want to do it on Pilot Edge, I don't have a Pilot Edge account, so I'm not going to do that. So yeah, that's basically how it's done. Um, and there's also some shortcuts, so download FMS or pre-file and it takes you down to the bottom. So what I do next is I go to print slash view PDF and that opens up a PDF of the flight plan. Um, and basically on this, I'm just going to explain to you guys what I use every single time I fly and what's going to be important to you and what how basically how to read this. Um, so the only thing that really matters to me is my flight number. So United 1591 the scheduled time and route slash estimated time and route so one hour seven minutes is scheduled time and route and my estimated time is one hour and ten minutes um let's see what else matters here my um fms route so summer one stoke surfer and the wabs one arrival my right here is the top of climb so flight level 340 um i don't really care about the wind or temperature um, but the flight level change, if I was doing a longer flight and they planned a flight level change where I would climb up um, later on in my flight, um, that would be here and it would probably go down to the next um, next level. Um, so that that's where you'd see that. Um, and this is really important. So my f FOB is fuel on board. So I'm taking 13,788 um, pounds of fuel. My zero fuel weight is 131,224 pounds. Um, my FAR reserve, um, is what my reserve fuel is. So 2.3 is what I would put into the FMC, 2,300 pounds. That's really all that matters there. Um, fuel on board, zero fuel weight and reserve fuel. Um, all this really does matter, but basically I, this is everything that I use. Um, and then we need to look at, um, right here where it says CI 50. Um, that can change depending on your flight and the winds and stuff like that. Um, some airlines um, have it like set to a certain number, but I don't really follow that. Um, so I just I just do whatever Simbrief gives me. So in this case, that's my cost index, and my cost index is 50. Um, so look at the cost index, and you want to put that in. And then under takeoff, what we care about is the FP, which is a flap takeoff flap for landing or for take off flap for taking off um, so I'm gonna be taking off with flaps 5 and then runway um, this is basically so Simbrief looks at the current winds at Los Angeles and it decides well if the winds are this then um, you should take off 25 right depends if you have ATC online or whatever if you're actually gonna be taking off on that runway um, so keep that in mind if, if you're flying on VATSIM and you have ATC but um, 2.5 right and flap 5 and then landing flap 30 um, I don't really follow that um, it depends on the length of the runway and just how fast I want to be going on my approach a lot of times I'll just do a full flap landing which on the 737 is 40 um, so it, it that really doesn't matter but if you want to follow that you can and then runway usually the runway is correct for the arrival it, again it depends if you have ATC or not but it just takes the current wind at the arrival runway um, and it just decides for you what you want to do um, so on this page that's literally or for the flight plan that's literally all you need um, I, I really only look at the first page everything below here isn't really a big deal like I don't you should be looking at this because it's like wind information and stuff like that but to me it doesn't really matter because I'm, I just fly on the simulator and I don't need to know all that information so that's basically how you make um, make a flight plan on Simbrief and um, how to read the flight plan so yeah thanks for watching you guys and stay tuned in the next couple of hours there's going to be another video coming out on how to read aeronautical charts so thank you and see you later